Hi people, this is Nettie again. Okay. Um, I found my kale broken. One of my, how do you call it? Um, spring onions broken. And I'm going like, what the heck happened here now? You know. So I figured it might be rats. But I caught my, caught my dog inside yesterday. And I figured one of the, one of the kids or my husband, he left the door op open for a second. You know, they always do that constantly. And I'm always fighting with them constantly with that. So, um, how you call it? Yeah, I figured that he sneaked in, hid behind the tank of water. You know, uh, nobody looks under there unless they're looking for something or putting something down there. You know, because it has like a little table thing under it. It's a metal thing, of course, because <laughs> it won't hold. A uh, 50 gallon won't hold in a, you know, in a weak um, table. So it's a metal table. But the thing is, I ask everybody, everybody, I know, don't blame me. I me, you know. So, okay, I let it go by. And I let him a while there. I say, oh, the poor dog, he just wants to be a little while in the balcony. So I let him in the balcony until the time that I was going to go to bed. Then I kicked him out. Why? Because where the heck he's going to go out if he has to use the bathroom or he decides to go out? I figure he might climb through here and mess up my plants. So he went out. He didn't come back in all day. And I said, so I checked in the morning. I said, let me see if he got in again. So he didn't. He was outside. And then I see all this all broken up. And I'm going, like, who the heck? You know, was this the rats? You know, so I figured I have to gonna put gloves to put, you know, to fix the silk. Oh, so no, it wasn't no rat. What he did was, let me show you if I could see. I don't know if you can see the blocks down there. Right there. He knocked down all those blocks. Right there. As you can see, he knocked all that trying to get up. He, his pores must have climbed through here. And this thing is very weak. So he just pushed it down. And came right over. Of course, where he's going to come. Only way he could come through is through here. Through here. Because this has a lot of sticks and stuff. And as you can see over there, I got a lot of pots. That, they're not being used. But I got a lot of pots going along this way. So they, he, if in case he tries to go through there, even though the, it, you know, it's covered, you know, I'm trying to be aid that rats come through there too. So, you know, I said... Where the heck? What the heck? How he, he did this? So he did, because this, when a rat would kind of bend that or knock all that down, you know. He knocked down four blocks. They just put there because um, we were always planning to put it up and, and between one thing and another. That was when we bought this when I was like going back in and back out and in of the hospital. So we never put it up. And since I'm using these canisters, you know, like that canister, this canister, I got my plants over there in, can, in you know, their own pot. So it was never put. It was just there as, you know, put, but not, um, how you call it, not pasted in there. So he blew, he knocked them all down. Thank God it wasn't pasted or else he would have done this all day and I wouldn't have noticed. You know, when I see all this in the floor, I say, wait a minute, this is not no rat. <laughs> Unless he's a super rat. So, he knocked it out. And, how you call it? And, uh, it, you know, it bothers me because he knows he's not supposed to come in. He knows that for a fact. But he don't listen, you know. He has his house. We had him another house, another plastic house. He didn't want it. He got a wooden house right behind there. Right there where the tree is, on the side, he has a house there. He don't want that one either. So we put one closer, a plastic one. We gave it away because it was just glumped there, you know. So he also didn't want that. Now we're trying to see if we could bring that house down there, bring it up here. Maybe he'll enjoy it. I doubt it because even if it rains, he still don't go in there. So... Um, either he go, but he has a place to, you know, to hide when it rains. So either he goes on the, that beat up car right there, or he goes on the side. There's a spot there that doesn't rain and he gets in the sand and he goes to sleep there while it's raining. 
so you know he don't want to use the house I don't know why but anyway um, I'm gonna try to paste them you know because what I do is I take um, tape and I paste them back up and usually they heal so I'm gonna try that and I'll be back in a minute okay so we put this in the meantime we plan to put this outside but the time wasn't given my husband had to go to work and this and that so he didn't have the time to do it so um what's gonna happen is that uh maybe tomorrow morning or maybe the weekend i'll probably time to leave for the weekend it's no major thing this things you could bend it you know it's not like they hard or anything you see oops <laughs> you see they're not hard so i could bend it push it back down whatever so but we tied this up to, he tied it real good to make sure it doesn't fall you know because he tied all of it now he ain't gonna be able to get in plus I don't know if he could see this at night or not but I'm gonna put one of the plants here so he knows he ain't gonna be able to go in because in that side he couldn't get in so he knows this one when you push it down it'll fall down because that's how you call it is a little shaky but I didn't have that this at this time I didn't have none of this so in the weekend we're gonna take this part out this part out and we're gonna put this and that side out so that way um how you call it he can't get in and it's gonna be this is stronger this is brand new this is what we made the raised bed so what else I had to do I don't know if you can see it right there I made a cast for him for my how you call it my yeah I forgot it. oh kale <laughs> for my kale wait okay right there for my kale um I call it, it it broke but it was still united and I was able to patch it together and put a tape why did I do this because most of the time if uh, a plant breaks if it still has you know that you could put it back up you put it straight back up exactly the way it was and you tape it around it and it won't die it'll just keep on growing you know as you can see I did that this morning right there this morning and it's still nice and green you know it's still it didn't flop down or anything so that probably will help it so saying this God bless you all until next time oh and remember if you like the video please subscribe okay bye bye